Hi kids, welcome to our environmental studies program. What you're seeing here is the Dolphin Explorer. This is the vessel that we do all of our survey work. The Dolphin Project is an ongoing field survey of local bottlenose dolphins. It was launched in February 2006. We have cited and cataloged approximately 300 bottlenose dolphins, collecting data on their social structure, behavior, location, and movement. Now let's meet our survey team. Here's Captain Chris. He's also known as the skipper of the Dolphin Explorer. Meet Kent, one of the naturalists who helps with the research and identifying the dolphin. Meet Kristen. She helps sight dolphins and enters data on the boat. And Riley, our dolphin mascot, is a labradoodle and loves to watch the dolphins play. And that's me. I'll be your host for the next 10 weeks of the program. Oh, and I almost forgot. Two of our favorite dolphins, Hatchet and Bubbles, will be coming along for the ride. Aww. They're definitely feeding. At least three. It looks like they're chasing fish. Whoa! Oh, wow. Definitely chasing fish. We have a lot of fun out on the water with the dolphins. The project is for two main reasons. The first, is education. People come from all over the world to learn about the dolphins and the habitat that they live in. We pass out catalogs on board which will give them lots of information and close-ups of all the fins which is how we identify the dolphins. We also have young people coming aboard your age to participate in the dolphin challenge. And the second reason is research. This is the camera we use in our photo identification. It's a Nikon with a 300 millimeter lens, which allows me to zoom in really close to the dolphins from a far distance. Gives us really good photos of the dorsal fin and also allows us to stay far away from the dolphins enough to where they can be comfortable and stay in their normal behaviors. These are the actual photos that you guys can use throughout the 10-week program to help us identify the dolphins. Hi guys, we're here with Kristen and she is helping us record our data into the database. She's using the iPad, getting the GPS coordinates, water temperature, the depth, the tide, how many dolphins we see, whatever it looks like they're doing, playing, leaping, feeding, and most importantly, after we get a good photo and identify the dolphin, she'll record the names of the dolphins as well. So it's a state-of-the-art database that we can use anywhere out on the water by getting an internet connection on our iPad. And you guys will be able to, to dig into this and use it as well throughout the project. We also look out for injured or entangled dolphins. The end of 2011, we noticed one of our most loved dolphins, Seymour, had an entanglement similar to Winter in Dolphin's Tail. He's an eight-year-old dolphin that we've been sighting since he was a little calf. After months of tracking him, we were able to put together a rescue. Here's Kent at the scene. All right, they got the dolphin by the side of the boat. Divers, well, people are going to get in the water. Everybody else is gradually moving in. There's people in the water. And they got Seymour. Okay, they're putting the navy mat in the water so the vets can look at them.
On March 9, 2012, we collaborated with NOAA, SeaWorld, Moat, Harbor Branch, and Florida Fish and Wildlife for a successful rescue. He was captured, the entanglement was removed, he was given an x-ray, antibiotics, and a tracking device to monitor his whereabouts. He was released that same day. We are most fortunate to work in a rich and a diverse environment, including our bays, rivers, and estuaries. As well as dolphins, we can also see sea turtles, brown pelicans, spoonbills, great white egrets, variety of butterflies, lightning whelks and other mollusks, gopher tortoises, raccoons, and even big cats like bobcats. After almost seven years of research, we presently believe that the local dolphin population is healthy and stable. So come aboard as part of our survey team for the next 10 weeks in playing a vital role in keeping the environment healthy and keeping the dolphins and other marine life safe. Hopefully within the 10 weeks, you'll have a chance to come out on our boat with the survey team. So welcome to the Dolphin Project and welcome to the Environmental Studies Program.